Hey everybody, Captain Valen here. Today I want to talk about um, a video I've been meaning to make. I, I actually made a couple of preliminary kind of uh, videos to let myself hear myself or something like that. Just a new take on it. But I wanted to talk about the Admiral fight that we never got to see. Aokiji versus Akainu. <laughs> now, <clears throat> personally, uh, Akainu, or Akainu, however you pronounce it, is... Uh, He's one of my favorite characters. Um, I'm going to get into my favorite characters in a whole series um, in the vein of like teching, only way less produced and and not nearly as good. Uh, but let's get to the point. And first off, sorry, before I get to the point, if you guys have any uh, theories, opinions, or thoughts about what I have to say or your own on the matter, throw them in, my, uh, in the comments and I will reply. You know what I mean? All right. Now, we all know the outcome of the fight. We know uh, Aokiji lost a leg. And we know that Sakazuki is now the undisputed reigning heavyweight champion of the Marines. <laughs> Essentially. Um, he took Sengoku's job. So, and th that's the outcome that we know. Now, that paints a picture of Suzaku winning, and that's, or Sakazuki, sorry, Suzaku. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I'm not convinced. One Piece has a way of defying expectations with storytelling by leading you to have an entirely put-together concept of an idea and then showing you how wrong you were about it. Oda is absolutely magnificent at this. So, with that in mind, I... I thought about something. I thought, hey, what if it wasn't a victory? What if, even having lost a leg, Aokiji didn't give up and still just kept throwing hands and eventually found himself in a position that, you know, uh, Akinu, where he was, uh, like, we'll say ice partisan thing because that was like one of his stronger techniques to the throat you know what i mean like this is you know this is where you die and literally kuzan won all right and that's that's my posit in this i guess i posit that kuzan aokiji won and in winning he got what he wanted he knows that the military didn't need his sense of lazy justice right now. They needed a figure that would be strong, stalwart, and that nobody would question. And nobody. And that's not Aokiji. Aokiji is too laid back for that. Somebody would question. Things would go undone. People would slide. They would slide, really, is what it would be. And after Marine Ford and the heavy losses and the insanity that was Marine Ford... I think he realized that, that that he wasn't what the world government needed. They needed to have a two-fold system. One, you know, who leads the world government and the Marines towards their, you know, their destiny, as it were, and moves them into the, into the new world, starts really cracking down, just straight up hunting pirates, no jokes, no quarters given, straight, not, straight up sending them out. And that's exactly what... Uh, the Marines needed. Kuzan, however, Aokiji goes goes on over to to the Blackbeard Pirates, the fastest growing pirate crew in the series history. Let's just be honest. Like he had a dope crew in the Supernovas, and literally in the same year, it felt like he went from you know a Supernova to a Yonko because. He played the game because he didn't. You can work hard or you can work smart, and Blackbeard is the ex, is like the epitome of working smart. You know what I mean? He he handpicked people for specific things and then expanded from there. And then when he needed more people, he basically he studied history and realized that there's all these people in this place, in this one fucking place. I should just go get them, and he did. All right, so. Somebody needed to keep an eye on somebody with that level of ambition because somebody like that is going to figure out the void sentry. Like, straight up and down, I really do believe that. He's an archaeologist, just like Robin is. 
Like he's got his face in books and stuff. So don't don't judge uh, Blackbeard just because you know he's a pirate. He's he's a smart smart man. And I know I kind of went on a Blackbeard tangent, but that's just to show how big and deadly he is in the world of One Piece right now. He's considered a Yonko. Like that's no, no that's nothing to shake a stick at. And somebody needed to keep an eye on that. And lazy justice is the perfect kind of justice for something like that. It allows him to trickle down things, to do little things like the saving of Robin and the letting uh, Luffy and stuff go. Like little things like that, they kind of tilted the favor technically against the world government, you know, in the sense of his own pursuit of justice. And I think that's exactly what he's doing to Blackbeard. And I think it's important. It's important work. And I think it's one of the reasons that uh, Akinu is such a dick about everything right now is because he knows he lost, so he has even more reason to live up to the expectations. So, yeah. I actually took down my second screen, so I'm going to have to turn to the left here to see if my mouse is in the right place, and it is. All right. Captain Valen, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have anything you want to say about the topic, let me know. This is, I don't want to say dedicated to, but uh, Luffy Toro off of Facebook really lit a fire under my tuchus and got me to make this video between playing Pokemon. Let's go. So yeah, thank you very much. Everybody have themselves a great day. Remember to take care of each other. And yeah, this has been Captain Valen. Thanks for coming.